4.4 electrical safety memo. Question one, link the wiring name, color, and function. So inside a plug, we've got the live, earth, and neutral wires. So the live is always the color brown and it provides the electrical power. It goes uh, positive and negative 230 volts. Uh, we've got the earth wire, which is normally green and, and yellow, and it's only there really for safety. It generally doesn't do anything. Um, unless there's a problem. And then we've got the neutral. Um, the neutral wire is blue. It provides a return path of zero volts um, for the live wire. Uh, question two, an electrical shop in the UK where the main electricity has a voltage of 230 volts sells plug fuses at three different ratings of three amp, five amp, and 13 amp values. For the following devices suggest uh, which fuse rating would be the most appropriate and why? So A, a uh, two kilowatt uh, rated kettle. So if we have P equals I times V, but well, let's work out what's the current going through our kettle. So 2000, because we're dealing with watts, not kilowatts, and uh, divided by 230 is 8.5 amps. So both the uh, three amp and the five amp values would be, would be no good at all because they'll be continually blowing even if the device is working normally. So the, the correct value would be the 13 amp fuse. Uh, 25 watt soldering iron, well, if we, again, if we work out what's the current flowing through, well, it's very, very small amount of current. So uh, P equals I times V. So um, to find the current, you're going to do the um, power divided by the voltage. And we get 0 0.11 amps, very, very small amount of uh, current flowing. So you're going to use the three amp fuse. Uh, number C, uh, oh, let, uh, C, we've got a game console. It's got a power consumption of about 200 watts. Again, let's work out what's the current. So again, um, the power divided by the voltage, I get 0 0.8. 87 amps so again the, the lowest value of fuse would be fine so three amp fuse is going to be fine a sound system uh, in question d has a peak power of a thousand watts so what would be the most appropriate fuse to use now so so we do a thousand divided by 230 to find the current we get 4.3 amps so a three amp um a fuse is going to be too small it will blow immediately a 13 amp fuse is going to be just really too high there's no need to use a 13 amp fuse so you might as well just use a 5 amp fuse uh, number three explain how the earth wire and fuse together can safely protect a person using electrical equipment so if the live wire frays and touches the metal casing of an electrical device uh, with the earth cable connected, the earth wire provides a low resistance path for the electricity. And that's a common kind of misconception. You think, well, why, why would you want a low resistance path? Well, it, it's so suddenly you're going to get a huge amount of current being drawn and that will cause the fuse wire to melt. So the fact that the, the earth wire has, is a very low resistance, suddenly all this current can flow very quickly and the fuse wire will, fuse wire will melt and basically break the circuit. Question four, an electrical hairdryer cable is said to be double insulated. What does that term mean to be double insulated? Well, there's an additional layer of insulation around the power cable just for added protection. Uh, five, well, a gamer is organizing a LAN party. I don't know if that's maybe old fashioned now. Uh, uh, and maybe I'm showing my age. And it pro but provides uh, electrical power to everyone attending by chaining several multiple multi-plug adapters together. Why would you advise against this? Well, by chaining a large number of adapters together, you run the risk of drawing a large amount of currents from the main supply. Um, uh, and with this, there's a risk of overheating and it might be a possible fire hazard.